welcome back to more designs. Today we are going to be diving into Procreate and learning all about the clipping mask. Now the clipping mask is what allows me to make all of these fun little textures and backgrounds that you're seeing on the stickers popping up right now. Most of these stickers I made in just seconds using many of the cool features that you have right at your fingertips in Procreate. Before we jump in, take a second, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and take a second to comment below if there's anything you'd like to see in future videos. All right, let's jump in. So I'm gonna start just by creating the texture I want in my sticker. So I've already got a color palette selected. I'm gonna go in and choose just any brush that has a little bit of thickness. So I'm gonna go with marker for now. Start a new layer and I'm just gonna do a few brushes back and forth of each color. Notice I brought in a color palette to make sure that all my colors are gonna go well together. Now I'm going to select this tool up here which is going to allow me to blend my colors and I want to make sure that I'm blending in the same direction that I drew. So I'm simply going back over the whole thing and you'll notice that the lines between the colors start to blend a little bit. If I went the other way I would lose that almost ombre effect. So I want to make sure I'm going in the same direction that I drew the colors. You also want to be careful sometimes if you make the brush too thick you lose a little bit of the definition of the colors. So it's about playing around and seeing what you want. I find that it really depends on how unique the colors are that you bring into it. Sometimes I'll use just one color and make it get darker and darker, and then I'll use a thicker brush. Um, but in this case, because I have multiple colors going on, I don't wanna go too overboard with how much I'm gonna blend it. So there I go. Now, I wanna turn this into a sticker. So to do that, I'm actually going to create a new layer and I wanna make sure that it's underneath the layer I just created. So notice layer three is under layer two. I'm gonna click on layer two, and one of the options is clipping mask. When I clicked clipping mask, it all went away, and that's because there's nothing in my third layer. But if I click on my third layer and I begin to draw, and I'm just gonna pick my standard monoline brush to show you guys. Instead of drawing in the red that I have selected, it's actually gonna pull the color from my clipping mask. In fact, if I were to drag and drop the color in, the whole figure that I have just colored takes on the color that is the layer that I have just created. So that's essentially what your clipping mask does. It takes one layer and puts it onto the layer below it in the shape that you created. So if I go back and grab my planner stickers, which if you didn't get a chance, check out the video linked here to show you how I got those. I can start throwing these down under my clipping mask and having some really cool textures created. I can also grab that clipping mask layer and move it around to fit and make it look the way I want it to. So let's do another one. I'm going to duplicate that layer I made before. Again, turn it into a clipping mask. So now it's going to be a clipping mask for layer four. So now another thing I could do is I can add text and the same kind of feature is going to happen as before. So if I were to type out amazing day and make sure the layer on top is a clipping mask, that amazing day is going to take on the colors I have already created. And again, if I click on that layer and click on the mouse, I can change how it lines up. And in this case, I'm actually going to shrink it down a little bit so that I can bring all of those colors into my amazing day. Once you like how it looks, you can actually pinch together the layers and that permanently makes your amazing day and your rectangle sticker binded together. You won't be able to change the clipping layer anymore because it's gone, but now you can move around and size your sticker. And I can do the same with my rectangle as well. I can pinch them together, and now I've got my little rectangle sticker. So this is just a super basic overview of how to do clipping masks, and I wanna show you some of the cool things that I've done with stickers using a clipping mask in the past. So I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna go back to my calligraphy monoline brush, that's my go-to, and I'm just gonna create a basic circle. Touching my iPad to make it a complete circle, and then I'm gonna fill it in. So now I've got a basic circle, but if I wanted to start shading it, I can do that with a clipping mask. So again, I'm gonna create a new layer, select clipping mask, and then whenever I'm shading, I really like the charcoals. I find that it adds a really nice shading effect. And then I'm gonna select my color wheel and just make it a tiny bit darker. And then I'm going to begin to color around the outside of 
my circle. Now notice if I color anywhere else on my screen, it's not going to show up because there's nothing there. But as I start to shade my circle, you'll see it just on the edge of my circle or wherever I'm coloring. So this is a really easy way to bring layers and shadows into your work without having to make sure it's perfectly lined up with the layer below. And I'll use this on a lot of my drawings, not just shapes. For instance, if you see my tulip and spring stickers I've made, every single one of the petals on this tulip is a different layer so that I can bring in that shading technique. And again, each time I'm going through, I'm just changing up the lightness and darkness of the figure that I've already created. So it's all within the same color palette. It's either just lighter or darker. So I was going to edit this part out, but I thought some of my audience might appreciate to know that I am, like many of you, dealing with having a child home from school. So at this point, he tends to try to come in and grab things and play with things as I'm trying to film. So you're not alone. Hang in there. All right, so now I've got those two done. Another thing is once you've created and merged these layers, you're able to do whatever you want with those stickers. So if I wanted to duplicate this entire rectangle, I can easily do that. And you'll notice that the clipping layer that we created with it gets duplicated right along with it. So now I've got several different stickers using different clipping layers. All right, so I want to show you how I make more of an ombre effect. So I'm going to turn this square into an ombre. So to do that with my monoline brush, I'm going to start with a darker color and then go into my color palette and just lighten it up a little bit, draw a little bit more, lighten it up a little bit more. And I'm going to continue this until I get to whatever end color looks good. Notice other than making sure that my colors are touching so that when I blend there's no white involved, notice that there, because I'm going to turn this into a clipping layer, I do not need to make this perfect. Then I'm gonna grab my blending brush, just like I did before, adjust the size. And again, going in the same direction that I've already colored, I'm gonna begin blending. And you'll see that the effect is you end up having a little bit of an ombre effect. And now I'm gonna clipping mask this layer onto my rectangle below, and you'll see I actually have some space below that isn't covered, so I'm gonna take a second to stretch out my clipping layer and there we go now I've got an ombre sticker any of these techniques you can use to do with all sorts of stickers you can add quotes you can add pictures designs doodles it's just a really cool base for any kind of sticker now I want to show you one last really cool strategy that you can use and to do this I'm going to start with a circle so I'm going to start with a circle on a new layer I'm going to go up to my clipping layer all right, so my goal is gonna to be to make a really cool marble effect on this brown circle I have going on. So I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna turn off that circle for now. And then I'm gonna be really messy for a few minutes and just kind of pull in colors randomly. So it's almost like I'm making a polka dot pattern and I'm gonna play around with this green tone and bring in different ones. And I actually want to leave some white in this case, but not a lot, so I'm gonna keep scribbling in this color. Again, you can tell this is messy work. All right, so once I have the majority of this layer filled in, I'm gonna go up to my magic wand that we've used before, but this time I'm gonna go down to liquify. And what this does is it actually turns your painting or whatever marks you've made on this canvas into a liquid. And you're gonna be able to essentially swoosh it around for lack of a better word. And there's different ways you can do it. So there's a pinch that I have selected. You can also twirl it in different directions to create the marble effect. I like to do a little bit of twirling in both directions because you want it to look There's also a crystal effect. So this is definitely one of the features that as you learn it, you wanna just play around with it a little bit. Uh, there's a lot you can do with this. The push one is the one that I use last because I feel like it allows me to really make sure I have all the color where I want it to be, but it's still swirly looking. And then now that I have that done, I'm gonna go back and turn this into a clipping mask now. 
now my green circle has been turned into this really cool marble effect. So there you have it. Now we have five different quick little stickers that you can use in your digital planning. All of these were created in seconds and now that you have them you can easily turn them into quotes, into pictures, into fillers for your digital planner, whatever you want to do. So I hope you enjoy this quick little clipping technique and I'll see all of you next time. <laughs>